Welcome back to the Collagen Chronicles. In today's episode, we are diving deeper into how you can start your collagen journey. We are going to be addressing burning questions like how to begin finding the right collagen for you and determining the best time to start. Let's start with the basics. How do you actually start taking collagen? Incorporating collagen into your routine is easy and versatile. You can just mix collagen powder in your morning coffee or tea, smoothie or even dissolve it simply in water. Find a method that works for you and stick with it consistently. You can start incorporating collagen into your routine whenever you feel ready. Personally, I usually take mine in my morning routine but you want to experiment to find out what works for you. I mix my collagen powder with my morning coffee or smoothie or sometimes when it's a hot day, I mix it in water. Keeping it simple helps me be consistent with my intake. Now on to the next question, how to choose the right collagen for you? With so many collagen options in the market, it's very important that you do your own research and pick up a collagen that's very high quality and from a reputable brand. Look for collagen peptides that are sourced by grass-fed animals or uh, they are organic. For best results, choose a collagen that, that's easily absorbed by your body. That's the marine collagen. That's what I take. Also, you want to consider additional factors such as taste and flavor preferences or uh, health uh, or dietary restrictions that you may have. For example, the collagen that I found at the local mall here in Qatar had uh, dairy in it and I'm lactose intolerant. So that did not work for me. Ah, timing is everything. When is the best time to start taking collagen? Collagen production naturally declines as we age. So some people choose to start supplementing collagen in their 20s or in their 30s to support their skin elasticity or overall wellness. There's no age requirement to when to start taking collagen, but it's important to know that collagen supplementation is not necessarily for children. Whether you're in your 20s or 30s or beyond, collagen can still offer benefits such as strengthening your hair, your nails, improving your skin elasticity, promoting joint health. So just remember to choose a high quality collagen from a reputable brand and consult with your healthcare provider if you have any concerns or any underlying health conditions. This can vary depending on individual health goals and needs. While some people choose to incorporate collagen in their routine indefinitely like forever, others can find that after they've achieved their goals, they stop taking it. Personally, I use it for a few months and then my hair gets better and my skin gets cleaner and my nails get stronger and then I feel confident, I start getting compliments and as a toxic trait, once I start getting compliments, I just stop taking care of myself and then I take a break from collagen. And then again, I find myself in this cycle where my old skin is back, where acne takes a long time to heal and then my my nails start chipping and my hair is like not so optimal as the usual and that's my cue to start taking collagen again. So as, as for collagen supplements specifically, there is no evidence to suggest that discontinuing collagen has issues as collagen is naturally occurring protein in your body. But it's good to note that any benefits occurring from supplementation will diminish as soon as you stop taking it. Ultimately, whether you choose to stay on a supplement long term or discontinue it as a personal decision, that should be based on your individual health goals, your lifestyle and with a consultation of your healthcare provider. They can help you determine the best course of action and to provide guidance to safely incorporate or discontinue supplements as needed. 
that wraps up today's episode of collagen chronicles i hope you found this information helpful to kick start your collagen journey stay tuned for the next episode where we are going to address some issues like collagen safety potential side effects and remember always consult with your healthcare provider before adding supplements to your diet see you next time Don't miss episode 3 collagen safety and potential side effects where we address concerns about safety of collagen supplementation its impact during pregnancy and breastfeeding potential allergies and more